What's up, everybody? I am back. This is Fair Play with Season 3, Episode 17 of Empire's um, next to last episode called Toil and Trouble. Because like I said on the last episode, um, the finale is tonight, you guys. Um, part 2 to Toil and Trouble. Um, there's so much going on in this episode as well. But like I said, I did not have the motivation to do a video for it. So I'm going to try to be brief and just get to the highlights of what's going on. Um, basically... Um, the episode starts out with Cookie being in Leviticus, Vegas. So she's in Las Vegas at the casino. Her, her sister Candace, and her sister Carol are there. And I, it assume you assume that they are there to just gamble and have a little fun, right? So they go in there. They got on shades and everything. All of them all sparkled out and whatnot, bedazzled and everything. And you also see Chicken, who is Hakeem's uh, friend, in there DJing. And you're wondering what she's doing in there. So immediately I realized that something is going on. So they show her getting ready to actually play her chips that she's bought. Um cooking her sister split up and she goes to the blackjack table um there's also another guy in there he's working the bar that's Hakeem and chicken's friend as well and like i said you start to notice that something strange is going on well while they're down there lucius and julie lucius juliana and the commissioner charlotte are having a celebrity dinner a celebratory dinner on the upper floor of the leviticus las vegas casino when one of his security men happens to notice on his tablet his security tablet that took cookie is in the club so he shows it to lucius who shows it to juliana apparently lucius got him on the lookout for cookie so when lucius shows juliana the tablet she tells him handle it so lucius excuses himself from the table to go and check it out so he confronts cookie down on the floor about being in the club tell her that he's not going to let her ruin vegas for him and juliana and she gets cookie gets mad about how he's cutting her out of things and causes a distraction in the club by throwing all of her chips up in the air and she even knocked off other players chips from their table too you know in real life that'll get you killed but you know this cookie we talking about now so she's all acting all belligerent like cookie does and um security finally escorts her out okay now that moment that scene that happened in the las vegas club okay or casino they go back they do a flashback to two weeks prior to show you what led up to that moment well what has happened is we go back two weeks ago before the casino incident um they show when lucius was making that speech in the empire conference room about the lions needing to stick together after bella was kidnapped he was like we need to get bella back he said y'all need to get y'all heads together um they show ha Hakeem actually jumping up from the table and running out when he sees a lady walking through the hall with a baby that kind of looks like Bella. Um, so Cookie and Lucius run out to break up the scene. Cookie sends Hakeem to her office um, because this a whole big scene is happening in the hallway. This lady, is, this strange lady is looking scared. She's holding her baby. She's like, what's wrong with you? Because Hakeem thought that was Bella. Um, so it's a real odd, awkward scene, whatever. So, like I said, Cookie sends him to her office. Lucius tells her that he knows the right person that can help find Bella. So he tries to walk off and leave, but Cookie tries to stop him. She's like, where are you going? Hakeem needs us right now. He tells her he's got to go because Juliana is waiting for him. Oh, Juliana waiting for him. All I can think about is King um Ahab and Jezebel cuz that Juliana is just like Jehab and she Ahab and she has got Lucius by the balls honey by the balls I don't know when it happened why it happened or how it happened but something is really strange going on and I'm hoping that all of that is going to come to a head in this season finale but anyway Lucius and Juliana are actually meeting with Charlotte. This is the next thing that they show. Thirsty is there as usual cuz everywhere Lucius goes thirsty goes. Um they're talking about their plans for Vegas. Um, Charlotte, not Charlotte, but Juliana is showing Charlotte some pictures and her ideas about what she wants to do. Lucius tries to offer Charlotte some wine and coffee, but she says she don't drink because she's a Mormon. And um, Lucius makes a joke about her being Mexican, but Charlotte doesn't take too kindly to it. So she makes a joke about him being black and tells him she didn't make assumptions about his religion based on his race. So she didn't like that too much. So anyway, Charlotte gets a call and then she has to leave because she has to meet somebody for lunch. Well, Charlotte tells Juliana and Lucius that they need to make sure that the Inferno doesn't open up the gates of her town to a bunch of hip hop hooligans from hell. So since Thirsty, so she walks out and leaves. Now, since Thirsty should have known and told Juliana and Lucius that Charlotte was a Mormon, he apologizes to them both because that was an awkward moment that they did not know the lady was Mormon. Well, anyway, Juliana gets nasty with him, with Thirsty, by telling him that it's too late for his I'm sorry's and that it could have cost them their license. So Mormons, they actually run the gaming commission in Vegas. 
So Juliana goes to the safe and pulls out a book or a ledger that she keeps there. Thirsty notices it and asks her if there's if that's the same ledgers from the office safe back in Vegas. She stops and she looks at him. She gets smart with him, smart with him and asks him why he's in her business, but tells him yes they are. She says she takes them everywhere with her. They never leave her sight. So Lucia's just standing by watching, taking all of this in, and Thirsty goes off on Juliana and tells her that Lucius is his business. Juliana tells Lucius while Lucia, when uh, Thirsty walks off to get a sip of wine, Juliana tells Lucius that she doesn't trust Thirsty. She said he's just too sloppy. And Lucius thought she was talking about his clothes. That's like the way he dressed. She said, no, I don't trust him. So Lucius fires Thirsty. This is odd. This is so out of character for Lucius. It's like, is he really that into her? Is, does she really have his mind like that? Me knowing Lucius, Lucius got to be up to something. There is no way he is letting this woman run him like this. Okay? So anyway, they go from that scene. They saw Jamal rehearsing the song from Kush's album. Cookie is there. Cookie and Jamal discussing the details of the album after the rehearsal. And she's telling him to put a call. She's going to put a call in to Stephen Cho, who is the PR for Empire. When Lucius walks up and basically lets her know that he done fired Stephen Cho. And he done hired a replacement by the name. I can't think of this man's name. But she, he brings this new white guy in to be the uh, public relations man. And um, they suggest to Jamal that he needs to wait six months to release his Kusha's album. He does not need to release it while Lucius releasing, is releasing Inferno because they don't need the competition right now. If he wants his album to shine, he needs to wait till Lucius does his for Vegas and then release it. Of course, Cookie is all mad about it. What in the world is it's got going on? But Jamal is pissed and Lucius tells Cookie that this new man was recommended by Juliana. Of course, you know, Cookie goes off at this point, calling all kind of B's and H's and everything. So she, Cookie tells Lucius to keep that bat out of her family's business. Lucius tells her that's why she's banned from the casino, which really belongs to Empire and Cookie for that matter. And it belongs to him. But he tells Juliana that it belongs to him. And not Juliana. He tells Cookie that the casino actually belongs to him and Juliana, not him and Cookie. Cookie is livid. She's mad. And she don't really know what to do. So on her way leaving in the hallway, she runs into Thirsty. He compliments her and tells her that she's a good mom and he'll keep an eye out for her grandbaby. So Cookie thinks about it and she invites him to come to her house that night. She says she's having a little get together and she thinks that he'll like it. So he stands there and he looks strange and everything, but he agrees to come. Okay. So then the next thing, you know, uh, when Thirsty gets to Cookie's house, the resistance crew is there. You got Shine, Chicken, Chicken's friend, Hakeem, Jamal, Andre. Cookie starts explaining how imperative it is that they get rid of Juliana. Shine mentions that he wants to shoot her because he saw her kill her husband. Uh, well, he was about to say she, he saw her kill her husband, but Andre cuts him off and tries to attack him before he can finish his sentence because he doesn't want Cookie to know that he already knew Juliana, that he had already met her, and he knows who her husband is. So Shine gets up and leaves and says he can't work with that crazy fool, Dre. Cookie asks Chicken and her homeboy if they still going to Vegas with her and to pull off her plan. They say yes, they on board. Hakeem jumps up and says he can't go because he got to wait on baby Bella. Jamal gets up and says that he can't because he has to finish his album. So basically, Cookie's plans are for because nobody wants to help her except chicken chicken friend and thirsty them the only ones that are there at this point everybody else is leaving and dre is there but dre is not gonna have anything to do with it either so thirsty tells cookie that he can get the means to do whatever and ask her who else does she trust then the next thing you know you see becky having a meeting with nessa becca tells nessa i'm sorry becky tells nessa that her empire the empire is cutting her recording budget and they're cutting basically everybody's budget in there. Everybody, everything outside of the Inferno project, the budget has been cut. So Tiana and Nessa get into this argument that Becky has to break up. And while they're arguing and breaking it up, Thirsty comes to get Becky because he needs her to do something. So what then happened? Now they go back to Lucius. And Lucius then found and called Tariq over to help him find Bella. Lucius had prepared this lunch for him or had a lunch prepared for him. But Mama Leah comes in and she swaps the plates on the table because she knows Tariq is coming. And she puts the plate, one plate, well, she swaps the plates up. She obviously had a plan. She trying to kill Tariq. Lucas just happens to notice as he gets up and trying to figure out why she switched the plates. He noticed that she done put shrapnels or glass shards in something that looks like a quiche. She was literally trying to kill him and Lucius could not believe it. 
So he gets the place, he gets rid of them. And so when Tariq arrives, he tells him that there's been a change in plans for lunch. It's going to be a little bit delayed, but he starts talking to him about the need that he needs help finding Bella. Tariq agrees, and for the first time, the two of them seem to make amends for a common cause, okay? So Mama Leah done put glass in that man's lunch. She is cold-blooded. Mama Leah needs to go back to that home she's in. Y'all, look, I got about four and a half minutes, so let me hurry up and through this. So, um... Thursday and Cookie got their plan on the way. They get Carol, Candace, Candace's husband, Portia, Becky, Chicken, and one or two of her friends, and they get a plan together. They, they, they plot another plan to raid the Las Vegas casino, Leviticus, the one for Empire. Their plan is to go into the office, break into the office where uh, Juliana keeps the ledger and steal the ledger from the safe. So they get together and they basically pull off this Ocean's Eleven type scheme where they want Becky to actually be the one to unlock the safe in the office. They want her to go in there and they want Carol to seduce the security guard that's at the door. Well, once they get there, things don't go the way they plan on going because Carol, for whatever reason, Carol cannot seduce this man. This man is not interested in Carol, but instead he's interested in uh he's interested in Becky. So Becky winds up having to distract the security guard and Carol has to go in and she's super nervous. It takes her a long time, but she winds up eventually cracking the safe and getting the ledger. And the reason why Cookie wants the ledger is because she feels like that's all the proof she needs that to give to Charlotte to show that Juliana is a crook and should not have a casino license. Y'all, it was real interesting. It was really like a quick Ocean's Eleven moment. I thought that was real crafty for Lee Daniels and them to throw that in there like that. But anyway, um, so everybody's back waiting for Carol to hurry up. They're trying to figure out what's taking her so long because at first they could see her on the camera and they could talk to her through the microphone, but some kind of way they lost connection. So they're scared that Carol has gotten caught. They're, everybody's out in the in the camp or in the van waiting on her but she finally comes through and she brings that ledger with her and everything okay so on the up uh, meanwhile Tariq done found some man named Sam I'm not sure I can't remember if that's the man that works at the CPC office but they find him and he is one of the men that takes money on the side he the slickster for the CPC agency he takes money to get paperwork through for people to get kids adopted and everything so Tariq finds him and he brings him there with a bag over his head and they basically beat this man up to try to get information out of him about who has actually adopted Bella so they beating him up beating him up the man said he don't rat on uh clients people that pay him money he said he don't damn on clients or whatever and so they beat him up some more so Lucius actually has to go off to a meeting so he leaves Tyreek there to finish beating him up to try to get the information out of him so apparently Tyreek must have gotten what he needed out of him because the next thing you see is Tyreek actually going to the Dubois mansion he's sitting outside and he sees the nanny and he sees the nanny with the baby so he has found out where the baby is okay um so but, but before they actually did the casino thing they let Becky practice on a dummy uh safe and it took her all night to crack that safe open it, they just wanted to see if it could be done and of course they found out that it could be done so I just want I left that out um let's see uh, so Tariq finds out where the baby is and he goes back to meet Lucius at the house to tell Lucius what he has found out about the Dubois are the one that actually took this baby. Well, while he's sitting there, y'all remember when Mama Leah tried to kill him the first time or tried to hurt him? Well, this time she succeeds. While he's sitting there about to tell Lucius what happened, Mama Leah comes in and stabs Lucius, not Lucius, but Tariq in his neck and he bleeds out on the floor. So Lucius, I'm sorry, Tariq is practically dead at this point. Y'all, I left out Andre and got cozy with Charlotte. He is actually done rubbed up next to Charlotte because he knew something was going on, but him and her got a thing going on. So he's sleeping with her. Okay, you can't really tell what Andre got going on. I don't know if Andre out for himself or is he actually trying to help Cookie. But I know when Cookie took that ledger to Charlotte thinking that that was going to get her some headway with Juliana. It was going to get Juliana kicked out. It didn't get her kicked out because Lucius apparently knew about it. He came in and he gave you um, Charlotte $500,000 not to do anything to stop them. He basically paid a half a million dollars for this license. So everything that Cookie tried to do with the Ocean's Eleven scheme did not work. It done backfired on her. And while they're talking, after they leave and everything, Andre comes out from the back. And like I said, he has got a relationship going on with Charlotte. But he meets with Cookie later on and he tells Cookie that everything's going to be all right. It seems like 
all her hope is lost but he tells her everything's gonna be good and he's giving basically giving cookie another plan to get rid of juliana and lucius and he's sleeping with charlotte to get basically get the upper hand on her well anyway y'all i'm gonna stop right here with this and we're gonna see what's gonna happen tonight on the finale see ya bye bye